Howdy guys, it's Joe here, and today I am to tell you guys how you can deal with trolls. Now, the first thing that I really wish I could say is I wish that I could give you a way that you could just use this 100% of the time and then automatically make all your trolls go from being a troll teammate to a non-troll teammate and win all those games. But unfortunately, that just doesn't happen, and if you're coming into this video hoping that you can just magically fix all your troll games, I'm sorry, but you can't. What I'm really going to be trying to do here today is trying to, you know, calm you down, tell you what to do against these trolls, and hopefully help yourself in the future against a lot of these trolls. Now, of course, as well with this, I would hope that in the future these people would calm down, I would hope that in the future these people would maybe take a bit of a chill pill and decide, you know, I'm going to stop trolling. Uh, some of these, you know, measures can also kind of help in that aspect, but of course, maybe people are going through hard times, maybe people are just not doing the best or maybe people just really don't care about the competitive rank and are just losing on purpose there's a lot of stuff that can be happening and I'm just gonna try to tell you what you can do at least as you can't affect other people all the time but you can of course affect yourself now the first thing that I'm gonna say also is that really when you are playing with a troll uh, when you're in a match when you go into a match for example I had a match a few days ago um, I was playing a match I was on a win streak and then me and my friend got into a game with a troll it was a competitive game we were on like a seven win streak it was really hurting it, it was really annoying and the one thing I really decided that I had to do was just accept that I had that troll and just try to go from there. A lot of the times these troll players just simply aren't going to be flexible players. Um, if you try to talk to them, they're just going to ignore you, or on the other hand, they're just going to get more pissed off, or on the other hand, they're just going to AFK and do even less than they're already doing, which of course just doesn't really help you at all. I feel like often we're trying to stop these trolls, we're trying to, you know, talk to the trolls, trying to make them not do what they're doing. But sometimes you just kind of have to accept what they're doing and just move on and do the best that you possibly can from there. And that's really the only way that you can personally try to impact the game. You could try to waste your entire game maybe trying to convince the troll to, you know, play well. But often they won't listen. They won't follow you. And instead it might have been better for you to just play through the competitive game, try your best, try 5v6, and try to learn the most you can from that game so that you can use that in your future game instead of just wasting your time on the troll. Um, as well, another thing that I said that a lot of you guys should probably start to try to do is that when there is a troll on your team, you should go into the player tab and actually mute that player or ban that player or whatever it's called and tell your teammates to also do this. Now, a lot of the times people have these trolls and they're just talking to them. They're just listening to them. They're, they're reading what they're saying or, you know, if they're in voice chat, they're just staying in voice chat talking to the trolls. I see that sometimes it makes sense. You know, you're trying to make the troll come back, trying to make them do as well as you can, trying to make them, you know, stop trolling. Often they won't. Often they're just going to ignore you and it'll just kind of make you more and more angry that they're doing this and that they're just completely ignoring you, that they're ignoring, you know, your best trial. Like, I, in the, again, the example, I had a game that I talked about earlier. I was trying my best. I was trying to, you know, uh, tell him to stop trolling, try his best. He wouldn't. Uh, from there, I was trying to, like, make jokes out of it, hope that maybe if I, like, made him feel awkward about trolling, he'd start to play. No. Uh, there's really not much you can do so I'd say in most situations if they're trolling from the get-go Just ban the player and tell all your teammates to ban the player from there as well Um, if you all happen to have him banned then you can you know talk in chat be a little bit more effective right there And as well you can talk in the team chat and be a lot more effective in team chat if you have a troll in your team chat then you guys aren't going to get anything done. You're just going to yell at each other about how bad the troll is and how he's ruining your game Which what will that accomplish literally nothing instead if you're you know playing the team chat, uh, trying the best you can, you can win some 5v6 games. Now, of course, that being said, you won't win all the 5v6 games, but again, you can win a little, bit, a little bit more, and you might win a few more games, have a little bit better communications, which is just pretty nice. Um, as well as another thing after that, another little tip that I also use for myself, um, is the fact that you should try to focus more on not going on tilt, and just accept the fact that you can't always win all these games. Of course, it's something I don't want to say. I want to be able to say you can carry every single game. And often you can carry a decent amount of these troll games, or at least like a fifth of them. But a lot of times you're going to have to just accept the fact that maybe you won't be able to carry this game. Maybe you won't be able to make them into not a troll. But you can still use that as a learning experience. You can still learn from the game. You can still learn from what the enemy team's doing. You can still try to practice your strategies. Practice your aim mainly. That's a really nice thing you can do when you have a troll. Just kind of treat it as like a bot game where you're practicing your aim the best you can. And just practice 5v6 strategies. As that can actually be kind of useful as if you play in a lot of situations and one of your teammates just happens to get picked off and you get good at 5v6 situations. That can also be really nice. I just say try to ignore um, the troll, try to ignore the fact that they're doing stuff, and just try your best to not tilt. As if you start to tilt, if you start to get like on a log, you start to get really angry, you're going to hurt yourself. And you're giving the troll exactly what they want. What they want is for you to get angry. What they want is for you to tilt. What they want is for you to just give up and give to the darkness. Uh, that's just what they're hoping for. So don't give it to them. 
And yeah, that's really the main thing you can do. Now, of course, most of the time, uh, this will really infuriate you. It is very, very annoying, and you probably had a troll maybe, you know, today, maybe yesterday, whatever day. It is very infuriating to have a troll, an AFK, anything like that. Uh, but just remember, it's it's one game. Uh, of course, sometimes some players are very unlucky. I will give you that. Some players just have a lot of games in a row. Whether it's a troll, a troll, a troll, over and over, over again, and I do say sorry for that. But just keep playing, just keep trying your best, and often, what you can also do to try to get rid of trolls is get a team of six, go on a discord server, find six other players, and sure, while it may make the games harder, it will get rid of any possibility of there being a troll if you do get uh, some good people together, some people that aren't going to troll games. So yeah, that's the thing that I'd say a lot, it can really help you a lot, and as well with this, do try to make sure that your teammates ban this person, do try to make sure that your teammates aren't flaming this person, getting pissed off, as that won't help you anyway either. If you can help your teammates stop getting uh, in this mode, then it'll help you a lot as well. Now, as well, you know, like one kind of final thing that you can do against these people is just realize that if you did happen to ban these people and if you did happen to, you know, just take it, uh, take a bit of a grain of salt uh, with these players, then you won't be nearly as salty or nearly as angry after the game than if you didn't ban them. Uh, I've really come to appreciate this myself. Sure, I might have lost the game. Sure, they might have trolled me. Sure, they might have made me just not have a lot of fun. But if I at least ban them, if I at least ignore them, um, it really makes the hurt on yourself hurt a lot less. Um, it's it's pretty much just like how bullying works, let's be real. Uh, that's pretty much all these trolls are trying to do. They're trying to bully you for one reason or another, or their entire team, I guess. But if you kind of just ignore it, if especially in Overwatch, because, you know, if you ignore them, they literally can't do anything. Um, if you do that, and just put them out of the way, then sure, it still might be annoying. Sure, it might, you know, hurt. But at the at least you made it do the least damage possible and at least if you do this It'll make so you won't be assaulted the next game You'll be able to play better the next game and it'll kind of just hopefully make the person that's trolling realize that they aren't getting much of a response and They'll stop doing it as if people you know stop giving you a response You're gonna stop doing what you're doing as it's either not funny to you anymore It's it's not enjoyable to you anymore the problem is I feel like in a lot of communities, especially online, people just give so much responses to these people. They just yell at these people, they type back at these people, and they haven't learned yet, just block them, just ignore them, and just kind of keep to yourself, um, or talk to the rest of your team, and you know, make a few jokes about how it's annoying that this person's on your team, but let's just keep trying our best, let's just keep playing and just kind of go for there. And one final thing, you know, this is all kind of like the mental stuff that you should do, you know, banning them, all that crap. Uh, one final thing that I'd say that really I wish more people would do, and I wish that you would do, is that if you get into a game where you have a troll, open up a software that can record the game. Like OBS, which is completely free, maybe I can do a tutorial how to use that in the future. Um, open up the software because, you know, you're not probably going to win the game anyway, so, you know, you can open it up and start recording your game. Show the person, show the chat log, show what they've been doing. Uh, if they're still trolling, just show it off and get it all recorded so that you can later send it off to Blizzard. I don't know why, but I feel like barely anybody does this. Sure, some people sometimes record uh, the games, and sure, sometimes some people report people, but I feel like a lot of times, the majority of the time, people just kind of completely ignore the person trolling, just accept the loss, and don't bother to try to get them banned, which is something that really doesn't make sense to me. Uh, now, one thing that I also say that you could do is that if you get into a game, if your computer's so bad that you can't record at all, what you can do is just get your phone camera, look through the chat logs, uh, maybe record the game for a little bit, maybe if they're, you know, yelling at the speakers, have your speakers on, take out your headphones, and then record that and send that to Blizzard. Just try to show the player doing the thing, and they're gonna get a punishment. Either they're gonna get banned from the current season, get kicked, lose something, there is gonna be a punishment to these people. So please do decide to spend the time, spend the effort, I mean, you're getting trolled in that game anyway, so why not just record the person and try to get them punished for what they're doing. And I feel like after you get an initial punishment, it really kind of freaks you out a bit from Blizzard because you're like, crap, I spent $40 on this game, and they're probably going to stop doing that at least as much in future games if just more people record what's going on. And as well with this, I'd say really one of the cool things about this, about recording someone, is that it kind of just makes you feel like good and makes you feel like the match wasn't such a waste. As if you go through a match and you have the troll and you know that they aren't going to get punished, maybe they'll get kicked for like a day or two because you reported them using the regular report feature. That doesn't really feel that good. You're like, well, well, the person got barely any punishment and they got to hurt me for nothing. But if you record them, if you know that they're going to get a pretty big punishment because you're showing exactly what they did wrong, I feel like it can really make your game not hurt quite as much. You realize, you know, this person's going to get punished. Sure, I did get the loss. Sure, I did get the pain. Sure, you know, Overwatch can't just undo that in my win streak or in my playing streak, 
but you can't help yourself in the future. You can help the community a lot and just help Overwatch know what players to punish and what players to not punish, which is just something that I feel like they could really use a lot of help with. And you, by recording games and sending in some games uh, where this stuff does happen, I feel like could really help them out. And as well, really help yourself out. And there you go, that's all I'm gonna say about dealing with troll teammates. Quite a few things that you can do, um, very simple. Uh, of course, you can't just 100% win all your games with troll teammates, that's just the first thing I'm gonna say, but you can do some stuff to try to help yourself, and these are the things I'd say really do help you the most. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, as always, make sure to press that like button, comment down below if you've ever, you know, reported a troll teammate, if you've ever gotten any backlog about it by Blizzard, and really what's been going on with you guys. Anyways, if you did enjoy, as always, leave a like, subscribe if you wanna see more future videos like this, and as always, have a wonderful day.